All right, let's take a minute to talk about some common water pump failures. Now, the average water pump, the way it works is pretty simple. We have an impeller in here that circulates the uh, coolant through the engine. Uh, the other end of this is driven by the uh, serpentine belt, or in some cases a specialty belt that drives just the water pump. But anyway, this rotates with the speed of the engine. Now, the thing that goes on in here, a lot of these impellers which circulate the coolant, uh, a lot of them are made out of metal, uh, some of them are made out of plastic, and they all have their pluses and minuses. The metal ones, sometimes the uh, coolant, if it gets acidic, it'll eat the, uh, the fins off of them and the, the engine will overheat. Or, like this particular Ford, what happened here is that the impeller actually broke and separated from the shaft. Now, that meant that this was just kind of dangling in there and making a lot of noise, and uh, the engine overheated quite badly, but it wasn't destroyed, and I'll tell you more about that in just a second. Now, the other thing is, some of the plastic ones, what happens is that uh, in normal driving, everything will be fine, but you put it under a load where things get hot, and the plastic expands, and the shaft starts spinning inside the plastic. So this is turning too slowly or it's not turning at all. So the thing that I'm getting at here is that uh, these impellers are a source of problems in a water pump. It isn't just that the bearing, of course the bearing in this one is shot. You can see it wiggle all over the place in there. But that isn't the issue. The, the issue is that a lot of these water pumps, they won't leak, they won't make any noise, but yet the car or truck overheats and that leads to engine problems and so on. Alright, so don't overlook that. You may have to remove the water pump to check this, do a visual inspection on it. You could also, in some cases with the plastic ones, you could use a heat gun to heat it and see if you can then turn the shaft inside the impeller and things like that. It can solve some really complex problems uh, with checking this impeller. We've seen cars come in with new radiators and all kinds of things and whoever had been working on it assumed the water pump was good when in reality it had a bad impeller. Now back to this Ford. This guy was really lucky. Ford and some other manufacturers out there have a way that when the engine overheats, they shut down half of the cylinders. And when they do that, they let the valves operate. They just shut down the fuel so there can't be any combustion. Uh, and then uh, that doesn't produce any heat. They draw cool outside air in. That keep, helps to keep the engine cool. And then when uh, the other half of the cylinders start getting really hot, they shut those off, let them draw in air to cool down and so on. All done by the car's computer. In this case, save this guy uh, probably uh, a five or $6,000 replacement engine. And if you want more information about your car or just information about cars in general, Check us out at goss-garage.com.